How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. My name is Will Kimchi. Today, we're doing another top 10. Today, we're doing the infamous Lee Min Ho. Number one. Lee Min Ho was born in Hoksoktong, Tungjaku, Seoul. As a child, Lee had hoped to become a professional football player. He was selected for the youth football class of South Korean manager and former player Cha Bum Kun, but an injury in the fifth grade of elementary school put an end to this aspiration. Number two. In his second year of high school, Lee turned to modeling and acting. After going through training, Lee started auditioning and landed minor roles in several television dramas such as Don't Stop 5 and Recipe of Love. His official debut was in an EBS series, Circuit Campus. Number 3. In 06, his acting career was put on hold for a year following a serious car accident in which he was severely injured and spent several months bedridden. Upon recovery, Lee received his first leading role in the high school drama Macaro Run in 07. But the series was reduced to only 8 episodes due to low viewership ratings. Number 4. In 08, he appeared in various television dramas such as Get Up and I Am Sam, and two movies, Public Enemy Returns and Our School's E.T. Number 5. His breakthrough came in 09 with the lead role of Koo Jun Pyo in Boys Over Flowers, the Korean adaptation of the popular Japanese television drama Hana Yori Dango, which was based on the popular shoujo manga Boys Over Flowers. Competition for the leading role was very intensive, and Lee only got to know that he was casted from the newspapers. Number 6. In 010, Lee starred in the NBC TV drama Personal Taste, in which he played an ambitious perfectionist young architect who poses as a gay man to become roommates with a young woman leading to a romantic complication. When asked about why he chose the role, during an interview, he responded, I think I would do a better job playing heavy and more defined roles when I am older. I think personal taste was perfect because it is bright, cheerful, but you can also laugh and cry over it as well. Number seven, in 2011, he played the lead character in the action drama, City Hunter, which was loosely based on Tsukasa Hojo's popular manga. The drama's popularity throughout Asia has also contributed to Lee's growing popularity in Asia, most notably in Japan, Philippines, and China, and parts of Europe. Number eight, Lee Min-ho released his first album in May 2013 and went on a fan meeting tour in Asian cities such as Yokohama, Osaka, Shanghai, Beijing, Kuala Lumpur, Manila, and Taipei. In April 2013, his wax figures was unveiled at the Madame Tussauds in Shanghai. Number 9. On March 29, 2013, Lee announced his return to television with the new drama titled The Air. On January 30, 2014, Lee became the first Korean celebrity to perform on China's CCTV Lunar New Year Gala. The annual show, which is televised on free-to-air channels across China and streamed online, is known to reach 800 million Chinese viewers across the world. Number 10. Lee's next project is director Yu Ha's noir action film Gangnam Blues, which is set in the 1970s when the real estate development boom swept across Gangnam. The movie, which co-stars Kim Rae Won and a support role by Kim Sol Hyun, marks Lee Min-ho's first leading role in a feature film. Lee chose this project as he wanted to portray a more manly character to prove his versatility as an actor. Shortly after filming rap in August 2014, Lee took to social media and posted a fan-made teaser poster of the movie. You know what's up everybody. Thanks for watching this video. As always, if you want to chat in the comment down below, make sure you leave a comment telling me what you thought about this video or anything else you want to talk about, make sure you leave a comment down below. I always appreciate it when you like or share my videos. If you aren't subscribed yet, make sure you click that subscribe button to be notified whenever I release another video. And as always, thanks for watching. This has been Willie Kimchi. On to next time, everybody. Have a good day.